management. Okay, great. 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 Uh, so welcome. Uh, my name is, um, welcome to the, well, welcome to the live Q&A for Give Your Gift, uh, which is a program that Tasha and I are running in July, and we'll be speaking a little more about it. But the first things I want to do is introduce uh, myself. My name is Mary Bayorak, and I am in my life outside of Give Your Gift and working at Tasha, and I'm a work-life coach. I work with people who are in transition points in their career lives, and the thing that feels the most important to me is to help people uh, do work and do uh, projects that feel enlivening, which is why I love the work that I do with Tasha and uh, what we have been doing and what, what uh, Give Your Gift uh, will be. I am located in Vancouver, British Columbia in Canada, where I've been for the past year, so near the mountains and the ocean, which is represented by my tapestry in the back as well. So that's a little bit about me. Uh, Tashin, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Um, you both know me already, but for those who are watching the recording, I'm Tashin. Uh, I'm a wandering, extremely online pilgrim, <laughs> and I work on three things, uh, love, curiosity, and empowerment. And Mary is my chief empowerment officer for the group that we call playfully Tashin Inc., which is the sort of working collective for my projects. And yeah, Give Your Gift is gonna be my main focus for July and August. And we ran it last year and I'm just really excited to be sharing it with you all. Yeah, so to speak a little bit more about what exactly Give Your Gift is. So uh, Give Your Gift is a six week program where we um, essentially have a group of who we call heroes, which are uh, really cool, beneficent, loving uh, people who want to do fun projects in the world and want to create change in, in the world in a way that feels aligned with who they are. Um, and over those six weeks, we will have two calls with every single person to kind of get to know them and to help them uh, co-create a project that they will then focus on for the entirety of the six, six weeks. Um, the um, some of the really cool things that are also happening as a part of that is the entire purpose is to help you give this gift, to help you finish this project. So we will have sessions running um, every week on Saturdays, um, 9 to 1030 Pacific, which is 12 to 130 Eastern, um, focused on uh, values. So kind of deepening into who are you, what's important to you, um, vow, which will Tasha will speak of, of purpose, calling, um, strategy, um, productivity, um, as well as kind of have a, uh, a beginning and an end coming coming together. Throughout this time, uh, we'll also be also be a part of a Give Your Gift Discord, which already has probably about 20 or so really, really cool heroes that have done their own service projects throughout the year. A lot of them have completed them already. There is a list of projects that um, I have as a thread um, uh, on Twitter. Do you mind Tasha grabbing it and linking it mm -hmm. maybe in the chat? Yeah. And we can share it in, in the notes. Um, some really, really cool projects, anything from uh, blog posts to podcasts to salons to uh, an emoji wallpaper uh, um, creation. There's some really, really cool things. And one of the things that we're most excited about is helping people um, do projects that feel like gateways into, into, into collaborations, into their own confidence, into the world. Tashin, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, I think um, the main thing that comes to mind is uh, just to share a question that I've always had, which is like, what are we doing here? <laughs> Why are we alive? And I feel like a lot of people have this question, if not everyone. And one of the answers that I've come to is that we're here to serve, that we're here to be of benefit and help other people, and that that's part of what gives life meaning. And, and in fact, that there's something that we're here to do. We came here to do something. And that's how we talk about what a vow is or a calling or a life purpose. And that's something everyone has to discover on their own. No one can tell you what your life purpose is. No one can tell you what your vow is, but uh, other people can kind of reflect what they see in you and what they see you being drawn towards or being called to and what your gifts are and what your strengths are. And um, that's kind of how I think about Mary and my role in this is our job is to help you 
connect to that. And the specific way that we do that is with a service project. And so service projects are all I work on. Uh, this is a service project that Mary and I are doing together, running this program, and they're fun. Uh, they're fun things to do. I have fun doing service projects, and that's what we want to share with the world is uh, this idea that service projects are fun and helping people find service projects that are aligned with who they are and what their gifts are. And it feels really good when you find that and when you share that and people are really grateful and you have a good time. It's fun. It's enjoyable. So that's our goal for Give Your Gift is to help you get in more contact with who you are and what you're here to do and then to manifest that in the form of a service project. It's often that the also answering the question of what are we here to do? What am I here to do is a very lonely can feel very lonely and 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 isolating. And, and part of what's what's the magic that I see and give your that that I really stand for is to um, have a group of people kind of answering that question together and being able to see each other um, both struggle but also succeed and support uh, the 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 entire process and and support asking these questions. Uh, one of the things we do is we have reflection questions in the the Discord. Um, every single hero will get their own feed, which is kind of like a public uh, journaling space um, where other people can can comment, can emoji react, and it's uh, it feels really good to say things out into the world and to share your struggles and have other people uh, reflect uh, their own challenges, to reflect um, supports. Oftentimes, just pure encouragement is really awesome when you share. Oh, I'm in this. I have this draft of the project that I'm doing. I'm not ready to share it publicly or share anywhere, but I would love to hear some feedback and to have that kind of uh, community of people that who for whom asking the question of what am I here to do and actually moving forwards in enacting it, trying to figure it out is um, is a big part of their life. Hmm. I think that community is really precious too. Like the the people that we've gathered are all amazing and people who are orienting towards service and towards fun in this way. And, um, you know, this is a six week program that we'll do over the summer, but uh, once you're in our community, you can be there indefinitely and are connected to all these people. And we're always adding more people that we're connected to who are orienting towards service in this way. And our long-term hope is like people will grow together and get to know each other and build a really beautiful network and start collaborating together and do service projects that are even bigger than say the one you'll do in six weeks this summer. And yeah, you have an even more good time together doing that kind of thing. So um, it, even though the program's six weeks, it'll keep going and those connections will keep deepening. I think part of it being six weeks that that we wanted to create is to have a container uh, to, to create a time bound uh, space for that and kind of an intensity to it. Uh, Tasha and I will be dedicating kind of those six weeks solely to uh, the people in the program. We will be on your team 100% uh, reading feeds, being of of, of support, um, and of course holding holding the sessions and kind of uh, being there in between that. So it's it's um, oftentimes projects kind of stretch for forever, and the, the point of this one would be for it to be to be feasible, for it to be really fun uh, for you. We really stand for fun. It's like service and fun are not actually like two opposing poles, and you have to pick one. It's like actually they can really weave together, um, and that's one of the things that we are um, wanting to stand for and support and uh, and be of service to you. In one of the really um, key parts of the program too is that folks get to do calls with Mary and myself. It's kind of like a two-on-one coaching call. And so uh, we'll do two of those. And one of them's kind of just focused on getting to know you and where you're at in your life. And we'll just ask you a lot of questions and get to know you. And then the second one is sort of aimed at finding that service project and working with you to figure out what you want to do. And those calls have always been really a privilege and a joy for me to participate in. I know Mary enjoys them as well. And um, uh, I think that that's in a lot of ways, like the highlight of the program is just having those calls and um, the sort of beautiful connection that comes when, you know, we're holding that space for you and getting to know you. And um, one of the things I really like about it is we always ask people to uh, brag about themselves. It's like, tell us about how you're amazing. You know, uh, there's not a lot of spaces where it's sort of safe and okay and polite to talk about how awesome you are, but that's a space where we're like, we want to know. We want to know. We're really nourished and fueled by that. Be like, oh my God, you're amazing. Please tell us all about it. Um, so I love that. And uh, yeah, and then finding the service project together is really fun too. And 
that's it's a little bit hard to know in advance what your project will be. It's very specific. We create it, co-create it with you and kind of find something that you're excited about that feels good for you, something that will push you to grow, be kind of at the edge of your comfort zone, but also something you can do and something you can do in those six weeks. You know, we're not going to ask you to, you know, record a two hour movie or something in six weeks or who knows what, but it's going to be something you can do in those six weeks and something that will help you to grow, something that's fun for you beneficial to the world because it's a service project and really is something that feels like you. You're like, oh, that's that's my project that has my name on it. Yeah, given all, I'm curious if there are any questions that you have. If you want to drop them in the chat, we can also read them out loud from, from there. Uh, I have a bunch of questions. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have three like larger questions and then one logis more logistical question, which I don't like. I could also just DM you about that because I don't know if it'll be relevant to everybody. Um, but how many? How many would you do? We have like oh, time? all of them. Start start with the first one. Start with the itchy burning question, and we'll just go down the list. <laughs> okay, sick. Um, wait, I just wrote them down. Okay, so first, just like, so I have a sense, like, what proportion would you say tends to be about, like, figuring out the thing versus, like, helping people execute the thing? Mm -hmm. That's Is a really good question. Um, oh, do you want to, do you want to expand on that? Oh, just like, I guess it probably varies person to person, but like, about how much? Yeah, it definitely varies person by person. Last year, because we ran this program uh, last year, we found that there was definitely a division of find kind of find your vow and then give your give your gift. the The sessions themselves are uh, pretty evenly divided between between them. We have three sessions, kind of more connected to yeah the values, the vows, um, and and your own orientation, and then kind of going more into strategy and and productivity. Your particular project. Uh, oh, so person's particular project will be more attuned to whatever the person um, is needing at the time uh, that we kind of co-create together. Last year, there was uh, one specific participant that was like very much in the find find your gift or like find your bound phase. And for them, we actually decided on three like mini projects to more discover what areas they might be more interested um, in and and that was really helpful as a project to then share um, more in, in in the direction of what am I interested in and then then they did a reflection on what they learned from each of them what that was their their interest um, for other people who are like no I know this is this is what I wanted um, one of the other participants like summarized books on climate change and was like yeah this is this is what I'm this is what I'm going to do and there was definitely uh, uh, a focus on that. So it really depends on, on the person. Uh, but the, the, the aim of the project is to, to be some kind of sharing out into, um, into the world. Sometimes it could be like in the community itself or on a wider, wider scale. Anything you want to add, Tasha? Yeah, I think practically our hope would be, it's a little bit tricky, like for us logistically, but our hope would be to decide with you on your project by the end of the second week. And then that would give you something like a month to finish the project. And we would aim for everyone to be done with their project by the end of the program and not just have finished it, but as Mary said, actually share it with the world and give the gift and be like, yep, this is done. And, you know, you can always iterate on it further or do another project or something like that, but have something you actually finish. And so roughly you'll have about a month to work on the project. Thank you. That's helpful. I, I just am asking, I tend to be pretty good at executing, but I don't often, it's hard for me to figure out what exactly I want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but once I know what it is, then I'm like, great, I don't need it. <laughs> so it'll, it'll also be that between the first call and the second call, there's going to be about a week. And during that time, both Toshin and I and you will uh, come up with options of projects. So in the first call, we're really, we'll like dive into what is it that that's important to you kind of do all of that, like, find or kind of dig into what feels important, what feels relevant, what are your interests. And then over the week, we will sprinkle in ideas 
uh, we will definitely encourage you also to to reflect yourself you'll 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 feel that we that's a usual thing that comes up like people once they're like thinking about a project they will do ideas come up and the second project is all focused on actually choosing a project that feels aligned from the ideas that we've generated um, and that making sure that it's fun, that it, it is feasible, that uh, like it feels on the edge of your growth. And so you're not alone in kind of finding, like figuring that out at all. There is an entire process um, that is uh, also malleable enough to accommodate you and, and wherever you are. Okay, thank you. It's our, um, it's our job to help you find a project. So if that's particularly hard for you, like we're, we're good at that. We're here to help you. And then, you know, some people have a billion ideas and it's just a matter of choosing which one and we'll help them to do that as well. But between the three of us, there will be project ideas for sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, Cool. Okay. And then I answered also, I want to make sure like Jacob, I am leaving room uh, for you as well. No, it's all, it's all good. I, 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 uh, I don't have any major, like major questions. So Go on ahead. Um, I answered one of my questions sort of myself, I think, or, you know, I'll think about it. But um, and then have you had experiences where people are more like struggling to know what to do at all or they're not really vocal connected to the community, like where you're having to, I guess. Like. I don't know, like where maybe it ends up that it's not the right program for them in the middle or that you have to push them a little bit. Is, is there a, like, is there a particular concern that you have that like halfway through, like, this is not the project that I actually want. I feel disconnected through the entire thing. And like what, what we have done, if that has happened and what we have done about that. Yeah. I just sometimes in like more cohort based type courses, I'm like, Oh no, I'm in this whole group of people. And I am not feeling a desire to engage with them actually as much mm -hmm. as I thought that I would, um, or it ends up not being the right fit for where I am at in the rest of my life. Um, and so that just would be like, it's just something that I'm not predicting that would happen, but it's like something that I want to be a little aware of. What do you think, Mary? That's a, that's a great, that's a great question and a great thing to, to bring up. Um, a couple of things is that we're aiming to have this group to be nine or less folks. So it's far more uh, of an intimate uh, setting. So it's not like you will get lost in the crowd of uh, of people. The um, in terms of what what kind like the the I guess the commitment level is um, it's up to you however much that you put into into the group, how much you get out of it. We had some folks that um, one of them last year couldn't attend the 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 actual calls themselves, but then they she watched the 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 videos afterwards. So there is even if like there is that doesn't fit exactly, there could be other ways to engage with it. There isn't a prescribed way to that that you have to you have to show up. Um, we'd we would like everyone to show up for the launch and the landing sessions, which is kind of the beginning and the end. Uh, in the middle, it is, uh, the sessions themselves are meant to be far more interactive. Uh, like it's it's not, uh, the the program is meant to to be for people. Like it's not a course that you, like you follow the, the, the set of, of activities. And then if you're not having a good time, then like, oh, just, we're gonna leave you behind. It's like no, it's like actually actually reaching out to to you if you're feeling disengaged. Um, Tasha and I uh, are also our DMs will be open for you to to share. Um, the thing that's most important for us is for you to to share your experience. And if you're feeling disconnected, to um, to just like communicate about that, and we can find some creative ways to continue uh, the project itself. We will decide on it, but there is also uh, check-ins. How is it going? Does it need to be adjusted? Um, preferably not the timeline of it, but okay, this project doesn't really make sense. What is it that I need to change to it? You're not locked into anything. Um, and it's it's meant to be a project for you. We're not like authorities or teachers that like, this is, you signed up, this is what you are. Uh, uh, like you have to, you have to get all these check marks, but like we, what we care about the most is that you share your project and then you give your gift and you feel great while doing it. There will be challenges. Um, 
but that doesn't mean that's not a part of the of the experience of the program as well. What do you think, Ashton? Oh, yeah, that's all great. That's, I think that really is how I feel about it. And um, I think the main thing that comes up for me is like, this is hard. Um, this kind of thing is challenging. It's hard to find what you want to do with your life and how you want to serve the world. That I don't know that it needs to be hard, but often it's hard. And so people go through obstacles with this and what the exact obstacles are look different for different people. And, you know, you'll know yourself best and what kind of challenges might come up. But um, if you're, if you do find it challenging, you're not alone and there'll be, you know, say eight other people that are also going through their own challenges. And um, yeah, if, if you're less social or something, or you don't like journaling in the feeds or coming to the classes, that's okay. Um, I think we really love it, the the project is the heart of the thing. So like you should come wanting to do a project because that's what it's about is like doing a service project. Um, but, um, you know, as we say, it'll be one that's fun for you and that you agree to and one that you feel excited about. So it's not going to be like something boring for you or, you know, just like torturously hard or something. And hopefully it'll be like, you know, when we decide not to get it, it's like, oh, that's awesome. I just want to do that. Like, I feel called to do that. I don't have to force myself to do it. It's just like, oh, that would be really fun for me to do. Um, and, you know, even with that, as things come up, you can talk to Mary and I about it and our DMs will be open, as Mary says, and, um, you know, could even potentially get on a call with you to discuss what's coming up. And so uh, the way Mary and I think about this is we're on your team. So during these six weeks and and really beyond, we'll be on your team and looking out for you to the best of our ability. And as long as you're kind of showing up to that as a relationship and like, tell us what's happening. For example, like we can work with whatever is coming up for you. Sweet. Okay, thank you. Those are your questions? I was like, ooh, this house has four. <laughs> I know. No, I have one more logistical question, but I could probably DM you about that. Jacob's anything, any questions for you that are coming up? Any reflections? No, no, I'm, I'm excited to apply. Um, you know, I've been, it's like, I, mean, just, I, I think I, I emailed this to Tosh, but it was really funny. I got an email from Tosh about the, uh, the giving your gift program, like literally right as I was sitting in my car being like, what the heck am I going to do with my life? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, all right, that's, <laughs> yeah, so anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm psyched. Um, Very cool. Amazing. Well, we're looking forward to reading the application. And and I guess a part of that is um, talking a little more about the application process, uh, because this year we're also choosing, uh, as part of the application process, to ask uh, you to uh, record a video of yourself talking about why you want to join. Um, and the, the the video doesn't have to be, it's not a big deal. You just want to get a sense of, of who you are. Uh, a big a big part of the the community is like yeah what's the vibe what who are you what are you caring about um also people who make videos are like yeah I want to like do a thing I have the I have the energy and the encouragement uh to do it so it's a matter of like you even turning on zoom pressing record and like talking for three minutes about yourself is like that is all it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a big deal um, and yeah, please brag about yourself. The question is around what are your projects? And like, we want to hear about how awesome you are. And like, we will, we like want to hear uh, that. And we love hearing that. Um, so it's, that's, that's the primary uh, part of it. And and I wouldn't want people to stress out about it. It's just to, to get a sense of, of you, why you want to join, uh, how this, how is this a good, like a good fit for where you are in your life right now? Yeah, you can kind of let it be like sending a voice memo to a friend or something, except it's a video, you know, just you're just going to talk for a few minutes like, you you know, here's my name. Here's what I'm up to a little bit about me. This is why I want to do the program. Uh, and that way, Mary and I can get a sense of who you are. And, you know, we're not really big on um, in a certain way, like polish ourselves. Like I, I love to do things just go and do them. And I, I don't know, I'm a little awkward and a little imperfect. And like, I don't know, there's like a lag in my internet connection here for this recording. And it's like, all right, we'll still put this on YouTube. It's fine. You know, hopefully it'll still be of benefit. And that um, that's the spirit in which you can actually make things and you can actually do things instead of holding yourself to being perfect or, you know, some standard of perfection that's not real. And so we want the real you and it doesn't have to be um, some amazing video that you spent 10 hours editing or something. I mean, 
if you really want to do that, go for it. But, uh, <laughs> you know, just a two or three minute video of you talking about who you are and why you want to join the program and all of that. There's some specific questions in there that we'd love to hear from you about, but um, it, it's really not um, a big deal to make the thing. It doesn't need to be. Oh, one thing I'd love to just talk a little bit about too is um, uh, the folks here know this, but also just for the record, I do most of my projects by generosity and just give things out for free. And like with my podcast, for example, that makes sense or guided meditations that makes sense or a blog post. It's like, cause it's easy to scale. I do it sort of once and then it's done. But um, this is actually a commercial offering. It's going to cost a thousand dollars and that's the right choice for Mary and I running this program because we're working together with nine people specifically chosen for this program. And it's going to be our main focus for six weeks of our lives. So um, that really feels important to do on a commercial basis where, you know, this is going to be our main endeavor for six weeks and the focus of our time and energy. And so practically speaking between us, that uh, feels like the price that's right in terms of how we value our time and energy for those six weeks for those nine people. So just wanted to give a little context for like why it's that price and the fact that it's a commercial offering. I do really love doing things by generosity, but for this kind of a program, it's just makes more sense practically to have it be a commercial offering. And, um, you know, I've been really blessed to work with Mary for the last year and she is amazing. We are really, really lucky to have her for this program. And uh, I think it's, I'm really proud to be working with her and to be sharing this with her with, this offering with her, with the, you know, everyone that's joining it. So. Um, any other questions? Is there any other questions that we had um, come in touch and that feel, that feel good to cover? Mm. I think, I don't know, we talked a little bit about this in the video, but I'd love to hear from you, Mary, about like why you want to do this. I mean, I, I love to start projects just like checking in, like, why am I doing this? And what, why does this matter to me? And I would love to hear from you about why you like doing Give Your Gift and what this is about for you. I believe that doing things in community and kind of doing things of meaning in community is how the world will change for the better. <laughs> and if I can be of support sharing what my gifts are, like this is my service project. This is like fun. It's pretty ambitious to, to be doing, to be doing this. Um, I, I love hosting, especially online spaces for people. I um, think there's so much magic that is created uh, when people are able to feel connected to what feels um, like what they want to be doing in the world. So many of us like are trying to figure out what, why, why am I here? What is the purpose of it, uh, of it all? And the way to do it isn't to, to like sit and ponder it, but to go and to iterate and to prototype and to try new things. And uh, I'm seeing the, the projects that we will do with the people that will join this program. They will be uh, kind of gateways into, into other projects, into um, asking more questions about what is it that I want to be doing? Where are my skills? Where can they uh, interconnect with um, what's of value to the world and what I love doing? And uh, this is something that that I love doing. I also love people. Uh, the the people that we work with are so freaking cool. They're they're so much fun. And the fact that I can bring people together and then connect them to each other, we're already seeing like in the Give Your Gift uh, Discord community, people that are collaborating with one another. So think about it as well as like joining a group of potential collaborators, people that are are also having a shared experience as as you are. Um, a lot of, of kind of overlapping uh, values in terms of wanting to, to be of service, people coming from different different areas of the world and and uh, skill sets. But it's like a, a, a community of people that you can step into that will that will be there. And we've seen, seen it grow. And I'm 
very excited to have another kind of batch of folks join that uh, group. We also have, yeah, co-working sessions every Thursday, um, both in the community, but you won't be kind of like left to your own devices to do the project. There will be some structured time uh, around it as well. But I'm I'm excited. I love talking about it. I think people, uh, I, I would have wanted this to exist for, uh, for me when I was trying to figure out what I want to be doing um, with my life. And so I feel um, like so lucky to be able to give it to other people. This is my gift that I want to share. Natasha, why, why do you want to do this? Hmm. Yeah, I, just first off, I love that about you, Mary. I think you, you, you and I both really love people and are thrive by seeing people, and that's one of my favorite parts of this. And I remember the first time that you and I talked. Like, I forget the exact words that you used, but I just see you. I've seen you since then as this like dense weaver of connections, and like you really care about deep connection with people and really understanding who they are and where they are in their life. And it's been such a privilege to like receive that basically form of love in my life. And I, I think that's really, it really is a gift to share that with our community and the people that get that kind of love feel, it's almost like we're like watering a garden, you know, and the plants just like sprout and flourish and uh, take both individually and together. And I think you're yeah a very loving, deep person that really cares for people. And um, I think the networks that you're connected to are, are really, um, yeah, your presence is a gift by them. So, so thank you for that. And it feels nice to share that with people. And I think for me, like, I, mm, how to put this? I think, I think we like kind of compliment each other in this way, because we both love people, of course, but you know, you're really, you're really there for specific people that you really care about. And you like, they, when once they're in your life, they're like in your life, you know, you're there for them. I think you're, you're amazing at this. And then, you know, you know me, I'm like, big picture person I'm like maximum deep benefit and like benefiting all beings and it's kind of the more like breadth thing you know you're like deeply connected with some people and I'm concerned with you know the big picture and um one thing I would really love to see come out of the work that we do together the empowerment work is service being cool like making service cool again it's like I know for me I have this felt sense of how fun it is to be of service it's like, you don't have to convince me to do service projects. I just, that's what I want to be doing. I work every day because I love this and I want to share that feeling with the world and then have that ripple out, you know, and it's not from a place of like self-sacrifice of, oh, I have to sacrifice my own joy and pleasure and enjoyment so that other people can live a better life. It's like, no, those are like your joy and the benefit of the world are right next to each other. And that's what I live for both in my own personal life and for the whole you know, community of people that we're connected to and for the world. And so that's something I'm really standing for. And I want the people in this program to get a taste of this. Like, I'm sure everyone already has if they're called to something like this, but just to go deeper into that and be like, yeah, service is fun. Service is cool. It's enjoyable. It's like launching a service project is like, launch, you know, like hosting a party. It's great. <laughs> I want people to have that feeling and uh, both the people in the cohort, but also everyone that they're connected to and ideally the whole world and all beings. Yeah. Part of the program that I'm also seeing is expanding what the word service means to people because service often can be connected to, I need to give up something in order to, to give something to other people. And um, what you and I are both standing in give in for and give your gift is that service is an expression of yourself and it's sharing with, with other people. But I, um, like a blog post is of service is sharing something that you creating a song um hosting a salon is all of service um and and yeah not seeing that a service is something that you don't like to do but you feel like you should do but it's rather deeply interconnected uh, together well said yeah anything can be of service even just being who you are and expressing yourself from there like uh, making visual art or dancing or, you know, as, as Mary said, a song or something like that can be an act of service. And so we have a really, really broad conception of what service is, and we want to help you find your flavor of that. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for joining, friend. Any other questions from anyone that's here? Nope, not for me.
Have a great day. Thanks for taking the time, both of you. Great. Thanks, Jacob. Bye. 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 Thanks so much. Oh, well, I guess now I'm here. I can just, oh, wait, you're still recording. <laughs> um, we uh, can, we can uh, wrap it up as well and kind of talk about that, the uh, applications uh, for the program. So the program starts on July 1st, then it runs for six weeks uh, from July 1st every every Saturday, I think ending on August 12th. Uh, or or so. Um, and the applications are open from now until June 14th at 1159 Eastern. Um, and Tashin will put a link to the applications, uh, but we'll also share it um, in the notes uh, as well. And yeah, we'd love to, we're very excited to read the applications and have you join the program. Um, this is something that uh, yeah, we are we are thrilled to be sharing with other people and we'd love to to have you join. I'm really excited to be sharing this with the world and uh, yeah, do send in an application. We're looking forward to reading them and seeing them and yeah, it's going to be a good time. So please do join us if you feel called.